G'day, my name's John Barry for creativecow.net. In this Premiere Pro CS3 video tutorial, I'm focusing on multicam syncing. Okay, If you've dabbled with this, you can see there's a couple of different ways of doing it. Now I'm just going to quickly go through them by selecting all of these guys and right-clicking. I can go to Synchronize, and we can see some of the options. Based on what we have at the moment, we can only work with Clip Start, Clip End, and these other two, Time Code and Numbered Clip Markers, are not yet available. Now, I've already gone ahead and set my sync point frame by going in uh, to the actual clip itself and finding something, a sound or something to that effect that I can use to sync. Now, this particular shot is actually happening way further down in time. So I'll just move this sort of over to here and you can see they're already starting to sync but what I want to show you guys is how to do this automatically okay and how they actually interact now this particular shot goes for the entire time so I'm just going to double click this one I'm going to make sure I'm targeting this and I'm just zoomed all the way out to see the entire timeline now what I want to do is sync exactly where it is I click Okay, and what I did, I found roughly the visual side of it there, and I click this little guy here to just go into the vision. And I zoom in, okay, and using my arrow keys, moving one frame at a time, I found the actual first time I hear that click really loud. Right, and then I went ahead and I set my own thing. So I'm just going to delete that one for now and clear that current marker. Okay. Now, as I did that, I don't know whether you've noticed, but down here, I've removed just the audio marker. If I hit this switch again, I'm back in the audio video. So if I undo and I bring this back, now, while I'm on this particular point in time, if I go to marker, set clear, clear current, now, because we're working with both, it takes away both. So this is, this is what this is all about. Okay, Working with this, it's just going to affect vision. Working with this, it's just going to affect audio. So I found my spot in the audio here, switched back to both, then went to marker, set, next available number. Now, because I've already got a number in here, the next available number after one will be two. So I'm going to go to other numbered, and I'm going to set that to zero. Alright, so now I've gone and done that with this particular shot as well. So it's the same point in time, I just found that same sync point with the sound. And along here, somewhere along here, there's another noise that occurs from a ball falling and hitting the ground. Okay, so that sound of that happening, I did the exact same process, except this time I made sure that when I was working with this one, I made sure I set an other numbered and set it to 1. Because if I went to next, because there was no other one there, that would have been zero. So I make sure that these two points can actually sync themselves up. So, in order to get this to work, if I select all of them, this one shares with this and with this, but separately. So the sync function will not work with the numbered clips. So if I work with just these two, now my synchronize will allow me to use the numbered clips because they are both both all the bits that are selected are sharing that particular number so there you go that's just lined itself up and the same with this bit here I'm just going to go and tell that to work with number one thank you autosave and there we go now we've got everything in sync alright so that's how that works now to working with the in and out points I've already found my sync points I'm not going to bother with trying to do it from the beginning, so I'm just going to say, well, instead of marking that with this, this here and there, I mark it with in points, all right, because it's before anything important actually happens. So when I lie these in, they're going to come in this way, okay? Same with this one. And I might actually, just for argument's sake, I actually want this to be a sync point for out, all right, just for this particular point in time. Let's say I've forgotten to do my sync while I was shooting, and before I turn off the cameras, I make something visual, like I take a photo with a flash photography or something, and get a, a frame at the end there that I can start syncing everything to. So that's where you might use the out point. Now, these two out points, if I select these two and go to synchronize, the clip end, bang, they join up. Okay? And then the same with these two. Synchronize, clip start, and now they join up. So I'm just going to ripple delete that 
and now I've got everything in sync. Alrighty. Making sense? I hope so. Now, with the time code, this shot here is, uh, although it's not got the right time code, it's actually an analog video signal, so it doesn't really have its own proper time code. However, it does have a time code that was sort of coming in as I was filtering it through my digital camera as I was capturing it. So, I need to play with the actual time codes. Now, if I double click this and I open it up here, I'm actually referencing exactly this sample of the clip, not referencing the original. With this selected as a sample from here by double clicking, I go to File and Time Code is not available. All right, now, what I need to do is find my sync point, which I've got here. These have now been replaced from numbered ones to unnumbered mark points. They're exactly the same way. I found them exactly the same way. Now, holding Shift, I can use the Snap function here, find that, target the correct track, and hit the letter M. Now, I'm actually sampling this, but I've found the exact match frame from the timeline version in the original. So now when I go to File, I can go to Time Code, and I can start playing with setting new ones, setting at the current frame or setting at the very beginning. I can also change the tape name, so on and so forth, and if you go and change things like that, you can revert them later on. Okay, so what I'm going to do this is the one that I want to reference from. So, hold shift, make sure I'm targeted, hit M, up here, select that, right click, copy, then I want to go to this guy, target these, find that exact same sync point by holding shift, M, then go to file, time code. Now I'm working with the original here. At this current time frame, I want to paste the other one, okay? You can see that's very different. Now I'm just going to put in here two hours, alright? You'll see why in a second. Alright, so now at this point in time, on this one, matches with this one except the hours are different. Alright. Now when I grab this, synchronize, time code's available. I can go by time code and I can ignore the hours. If I don't ignore the hours, I can't sync it because there's a two hour and a zero hour. But if I ignore it, then we can work with it. So hit OK and we've all synced up. That's how you work with time code. For more hints, tips and tutorials for Premiere Pro CS3 and other multimedia programs, stay tuned to thecreativecow.net. My name's John Barry. Ciao for now.